Hello guys, my name is John Golevsky. I'm a certified shootologist here today. We have a pair of Jordan 7 uh, French blues that are suffering from minor degree of third degree dirty burns. They smell like a skunk's ass that's been pumped out of, of a sewage for the past seven days. And we're gonna be using the new Rejuvenator laundry system to see if we can cure it. Now this stuff is prescribed medically by shootologists like myself. You can get your own pair at rejuvenator.com. I will link it down below in the description. Use the code TONYD2L for 10% off on all your products. We're gonna be using this today on these dirty ass French uh, French 7 blues. Check out the Yeezy footwork. A nigga is looking pretty fucking fresh if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? So today we're gonna be doing this, but however, these are not dirty enough to be suffering the type of the type of burns that they're doing. The insurance company will not, you know, give us the type of medicine that's needed unless these shits are really fucked up. So let's go fuck these up some more. Oh, here we go. Come on, John. Where are we going? We're going right down here to this muddle of shit. Oh, <laughs> muddle of shit. A muddle of shit, you say. So right here we have some straight fungi. This is a very bad problem in the shoe community. You fucking just oh throw it in there. Oh my God. And you oh my God. You let it sit and marinate in there, John. Focus on the shoes. Focus on the shoes, John. They're there. This is straight Georgia. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> I fucking, oh my, my Yeezys are gone. <laughs> I ain't going, I ain't going that far. I can't go that far. Dr. Golevsky, oh my you can't God, perform Joshua. the surgery on mine. So it looks like we're going to be cleaning up two pairs of sneakers today. Uh, oh my Damn. God. Damn. <laughs> Come here, John. My fucking. Oh, the stethoscope. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, Yo, bro. What the fuck? Hey, the stethoscope died too. Huh? The stethoscope is fine. Uh, that's what happens when you be a jackass. Jeez. Okay, so today we're gonna be trying to survive these Jordan 7 French blues. Oh, you're fucking. Oh, these are bad. These are fucked. That's Georgia clay. That's worse than cancer. All right, now we gotta get out there and reach out to these sevens. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh, all right, you had a good time playing out there, right, Johnny? Yeah, all right, we're gonna take them inside. Doctor, you got a piece of your stethoscope down there. Fuck it, we'll buy another one. Okay. Put it against my taxes. All right. All right, let's get Jesus, look at them fucking Yeezys, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, my these God. are the, yeah. Damn. That's gonna be worse than them. Yeah, it is. Shall we? Shall we? God damn, bro. What the fuck? Oh, God. He done killed the cameraman, man. Come on, John. And the camera. What? That's a. Nah. You got mud all over the lens. Alright, guys, so I'm sorry to say that the shoe suffered tremendous damage. Just look at him. through a tough battle oh poor Jordan 7 French blues we're gonna let these dry for a little bit we're gonna take them to surgery we're gonna try to save these Jordan 7's lives all right guys so as you can see here we have the pair of Jordan 7 French blues that are pretty messed up very bad we got a concoction here of some of the rejuvenator solution mixed in with around two, two thirds, uh, three fourths of a cup of water. Normally they recommend one eighth of water and around two squirts of the solution. But since we're dealing with such a huge matter here, a really bad massacre, we're gonna have to, you know, clean these up pretty well. So first things first, let's get into the cleaning. Doctor, can't you let them sit in the solution and it'll clean them? You have to pre-warm them up. You have to get pre-surgery. Just like uh -huh. any other surgery, you have to make your markings and let them know what is messed up and where you're going to make your incisions at. Learn. Learn, young Skywalker. Also, I forgot to mention, before actually doing the cleaning, make sure you take out the laces. That way you can get in all the crevices and all the cleanings. The laces are going to clean themselves when you put them in the solution inside of the dishwasher. What the fuck? I just say the dishwasher? I mean the laundry. <laughs> the washing machine. <laughs> 
Now we need to get through and get this Georgia mud clay to spring it out. Goodness gracious. You can already see this stuff is just falling off. That mud just has no chance with this rejuvenated solution. Real quick. Oh. So you see it's cleaning the leather, but the problem here is the threads are still brown. So we may be feeling like we're going to have some trouble here, but no. That's what the washing machine is going to do. It's going to cure that mud. Oh my god. Look at all the blood. Look at that blood. Look at all that blood. Contaminated specimens. Woo! Alright guys, so we just got done cleaning. What we're going to be doing, and I actually made a mistake here guys. I made a mistake here with cleaning. You're actually supposed to put the shoe trees in while cleaning just to get that better bulge on the sneaker when cleaning. So I forgot to do that. I highly recommend doing that, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. But when you're cleaning, I suggest you put the shoe tree in beforehand. That way, when you're cleaning, the bowls will pop up and you can get a good, nice clean on the toe box. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We got them in here. Now, what you want to do is you want to place them like this. And then you want to put them in the bag. Now, like I said, this bag was more meant for my size, being eight and a half. But however, we're going we're gonna to make this work. We're going to make this work. Trust me, guys. We're gonna make this work. Slide in there. <laughs> Johnny, back up a little bit now. You gonna be okay? Zoom in if you got to. You're too close to, to the specimen here. I don't want you to get you sick. And we're gonna lace lock it. And they still recommend to put a knot in there just to get just to get extra security. You feel me? Now, we got the shoes in here. Um, these, me honestly, guys. When I, if I was to buy a shoe from a thrift place, I would go ahead and get brand new insoles. We're going to cl clean these, but we're just going to clean them separately, okay? They could get fucked up in here. They might get messed up. But you know what? I really just don't care because you should get brand new insoles on a sneaker when you get it from the rag or or your thrift store because they smell like a possum's ass. So now we're here down here at the uh, surgical procedures. Now this here is a deluxe Frigidaire gallery we're gonna throw these guys straight up in there throw this in there and they recommend putting it on a light wash your most shortest shoe cycle possible so we're gonna put them in here they come up here johnny we got the straight detergent you know what i'm saying so they're gonna recommend to put three-fourths of a cup in there well my bad one-fourth of a cup let me clarify that a quarter cup to a one eighth cup of the detergent needs to go in this specimen. So let's get a measuring cup. Fuck, I've been, I haven't been using my gloves. <laughs> I'm breaking all procedures here. Oh, look at that. Look at, look. And then it just, yep. so you squeeze it, it fills up this chamber, and then you pour it. <laughs> You clever motherfuckers over there, Shubinator. Sorry for the curse words, but I had to say that. Okay, so now we're gonna put this on a light wash. Okay, pull that trigger. I'm gonna pour a little bit more than one fourth. Just cause this is not recommended, but uh, these shoes are pretty fucked. So I'm gonna put a little bit extra. It's filling up. I'm gonna pull this little chamber, and we're gonna pour it right up in there. Oh. Cleopatra, Cleopatra. We're gonna let this thing do its magic. We'll see you guys very shortly. All right, guys, so we're back here now, and I spoke to some of my colleagues, and I made a slight small mistake here. 
Now, when making the shoes and doing the cleaning the shoes, I actually put both of the shoes in that one bag. Now, that one bag is mainly used for just one shoe. However, if you're using a pair of Yeezys or a shoe that's more formable, like a more prime knit or a fly knit type of material, you can make one shoe in it. But with these type of things right here, they need to be one shoe per bag. One shoe per bag, guys. One shoe per bag. So what I did is after one wash, I took it out. I put this one to the side. And then what I did is I put the other one in the bag and put it in the wash and gave it a good, nice wash all by itself. So first and foremost, give you a quick little look around on this guy. He came out pretty well, but he needs to have one bag, I mean one wash just by himself. Just by himself. You see there's still a little bit of dirt right there. So we're going to wash him up. But I wanted to show you the difference between him and these lovely guys in here. You got the two shoe trees. I have to say, uh, shoe trees. And so they smell so good. Smell them, John. Yeah. S smells good. I can live with that. I can live with that. Now we got the baggie right here. They're still kind of sticky on the bottom. Let me, let me take my surgical procedures off. We're good now. All right, look at that beauty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some nice, warm, luke water. Very hot, actually. I'm gonna get some hot water, and I'm gonna give this one one more great scrub, and I'm gonna show you, but you can clearly see the differences in the tone. This is so much dirtier than this pair right here. I'm gonna give this a good, quick scrub, and we're gonna see the differences here of each of them side by side as we step out, uh, outside afterwards. The lace is magnificent, crispier than a dollar bill, All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's John Galepsky. Remember me on the Shootologist. I make things popologist. Shout out to Rejuvenator. Use the code TONYD2WOW for 10% off on your order. I will make sure to link down everything that I used in this video. So if you want to try it for yourself, make sure you have a lot of motherfucking health. Shootologist is in the building. Also, guys, give me 2,000 likes. We'll fix up these Yeezys real quick. But yeah, guys, it's your boy Tony D2Wild. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in, checking out. Peace. <laughs> Hey!